Question 1. What is the difference between list view and summary view? Answer. A summary view rule defines a two-level report display, presenting summary counts, totals or averages to be displayed initially, and allowing users to click a row to drill down to supporting detail for that row. Summary view rules support interactive charts, trend reports, and the use of Ajax for pop-up smart info windows. A summary view rule is an instance of the rule OBJ summary view rule type. This rule type is part of the reports category. A list view rule, an instance of the rule OBJ list view rule type, defines a report. Users can personalize list view reports easily and interact with them. Use the report wizard to define list view reports and link them to our portal. Question 2. How to call a list view from an activity? Answer. In an activity, the OBJ list view can execute a list view rule. Question 3. What is paging in a list view? Answer. To divide the list view into different pages and set the number of records to be displayed in a page. Question 4. What is exposing a property? Answer. Exposing a property means to make a property as a separate independent column so that it can be used in SQL queries and as a criteria in reporting. Question 5. How to expose aggregate property? Answer. Declare index rule is a better approach. 1. Create a concrete class derived from the index base class. 2. Create single value properties in the new class to hold values of the embedded values. 3. Create a declare index rule with the appropriate embedded page context value that copies the embedded values into a new index instance. 4. Save the declare index rule. It executes immediately, adding and deleting instances of the new class. 5. Expose database columns corresponding to the index class. 6. Reference the index properties in the list view rule. Question say Can we refer the property without exposing in reports? Answer. We can refer the properties in display tab without exposing, but we cannot refer the property without exposing in criteria fields of the content tab. Question 7. How to customize the get content activity? Answer. Step 1. Create activity in our class and create the new page. Step 2. Write a query and store in variable. Step 3. Call the list view as call rule obj list view. Step 4. Write the another activity in embed list params. Step 5. Create the parameter. This parameter get the SQL query from previous activity. Step 6. Write Java method. The Java code in this method is get the page from peak intent page if page already exists. If page is not available it creates the new content page. In this code get the SQL query from the above parameter and pass this query and above created content page as parameters to this tools, get database, executor db, query, page name, method. Question 8. How do we fetch the data from two different tables without using two different tables? Answer. Write a database view. In this view logically combine the two different tables. Create class for this logically combined table. Write the list view applies to class as class of the combined table. So we can refer the properties of both the tables in list view. Question 9. What is the use of HTML property in list view? Answer. HTML property rules appear in list view and summary view rules to define the appearance of values in reports. Question 10. What is the difference between list view and OBJ list? Answer. List view is generally used for complex queries where sorting is required and also we can retrieve less information using paging. Question 11. Explain in brief the configuration of a list view. Answer. List view, an instance of rule OBJ list view, is used to define a custom report or personal version of a report. A list view can be configured as follows. 1. Applies to class of list view will be taken as the database table map for the search criteria. 2. Display fields tab is used to depict the fields that are displayed along with category and to enable, disable. 3. Sorting. 4. Content tab is used to depict the criteria, fields to be retrieved, key of each row, if selected, and report. 5. Source page name where the values should be saved and the activity to be called. 6. In organize tab we specify to enable, disable paging, page size, mode, alignment etc. 7. We can also configure additional buttons and their fragments here. 8. Format tab is used to depict the formatting of the list, like even, odd coloring, and details on single-click etc. Question 12. 
explain in brief about the configuration of a summary view? Answer. Summary views are used to create reports which are grouped by certain criteria and can be later drilled down. A summary view can be configured as follows, applies to class of summary view will be taken as the database table map for the search criteria. Category is used to know under which tab the report should come. Criteria is used in the where class, this can be asked to user by enabling prompt user. Group by and field functions, like count, are used for initial display. If we have more than one group by, it is displayed one after another on clicking plus. Drill down fields are used to display the fields when we click on the assignment. Format is used to tell how to format the display and charts can also be used. Question 13. What are the methods we have used for validations? Answer. A. OBJ validate we can refer this method in activities and in flow actions at validate rule field. B. Edit validate we can refer this in property form at edit validate field and in activities through property validate method. Note, I think OBJ validate is used for server side validation and edit validate is used for client side validation. Question 14. Explain the operation of activity end method. Answer. Use the activity end method to cause the system to end the current activity and all calling activities. X. If alpha calls beta, which calls gamma, which calls delta, which performs the activity end method, all four activities are ended. Question 15. Explain about exit activity method. Answer. The exit activity method ends the current activity and returns control to the calling activity. Question 16. Explain about page copy method. Answer. Page copy method is used to copy the contents of a source clipboard page to a new or previously created destination clipboard page. The source page is not altered. After this method completes, the destination page contains properties copied from the source page, and can contain additional properties from a model. Question 17. Explain about page new method. Answer. The page new method is used to create a page on the clipboard. The new page may be a top level page or an embedded page. We can identify a model to initialize the newly created page. The model can set values for one or more properties. Question 18. Explain about page remove method. Answer. Page remove method is used to delete one or more pages from the clipboard. The contents of the database are not affected. Question 19. Explain about page set messages method. Answer. Use the page set messages method to add a message to a clipboard page. Like a message associated with a property, a message associated with a page normally prevents the page from being saved into the database. Question 20. Explain about property set message. Answer. Property set message method is used to associate a text message with a property or a step page. The system reads the appropriate property and adds the message to the page. We can provide the entire literal text of the message, or reference a message rule key that in turn contains message text. Rule message rule type. 